What is happening YouTube? This morning, this is a very special video. So Christy and I, we, um, it was like four videos back. I can't remember which one, but I hit a little like quick 10 second uh, clip in the video and I was like, hey, if anybody wants to help us fix our boat, um, you know, and just help us out because we kind of run this boat into the ground literally we hit ground all the time and anyways we've got a lot of loose ends on this boat today's going to be like a fixer upper video so christine are going to be like chip and joanna gains and we're going to fix up not this house this boat but i met up uh with robert right here this is robert he's a good buddy of mine and he actually hit me up and he is uh virginia adventures right yeah adventures so va adventures is robert's youtube channel Robert hit us up when he saw our video and so Robert actually used to do or he still does like a lot of boat work right yep. but anyways you guys that's what is happening today we're gonna bring you guys along for our little boat fixer upper episode a little something different for y'all but here we go I'm gonna actually start off I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of our boat I'm gonna show you what is wrong with it because there's a ton of stuff that's super wrong with our boat and I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing because this is almost like a pseudo like fixer upper pimp my ride so that's kind of what we're doing so here we go so here's all the stuff that we got wrong with our boat so these are all rusted right here um, we're gonna replace this um, this right here is pretty much all rusted this ain't gonna work right there so this right here is our trailer um, has been kind of like messed up and this is pretty dangerous so we're gonna replace that that ain't working yeah that ain't gonna work right here so uh, I had a light it fell off replaced it and that one fell off again it's not all perfect out here people not all perfect but we make it work um, Let's see here. Wow, that's not good. Brackets have snapped off, so we're gonna replace those. Used to be a hole. Yeah, that that don't look too good. So we're gonna do something about that. These are all like uh, kind of cracked and everything. So we're gonna clean this up, make this all kind of look brand new. Um, this right here, you know, just kind of that's ugly. That used to be a seat, but we removed it because you know we like to stand up and fish here on this deck. So we also have some like splitting going on like right here. Yep. And uh, some of these gaps right here. And you know, so we're just going to fix this right here um, where it's kind of splitting. All right, y'all. So we are officially waist deep in our boat repair. And right now we have, here's where we're at. So we've cleaned up this console right here and we've mounted these new rod holders. Doesn't seem like a lot of work, but it really does make a lot of difference. Cleaned up below there. We've got our gas tank pulled out. That's all of our trash right there. And we've got some of our new stuff. I feel like we need like Vin Diesel to show up. I feel like we're like Fast and the Furious. <laughs> oh, these are so crusty. Oh, you have magic erasers? Yeah, yeah. do you need one? This, this is like our own mystery tackle box. These are not exactly in Dang. Figure out where I just got. <laughs> yeah, right. it's there. That's good. Okay. Cool. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Forward. <laughs> This popping cork is probably circa 2018. This spoon right here is from when we first caught redfish off of spoons uh, last summer. Shout out to Kobe a killer. All right, you guys, what's up? Here we are. We are back. We have spent actually more Robert here with VA Adventures. This boat's been a pretty good work in progress. Yeah, we've done everything, literally everything on it. All wiring, cleaning it. I'm actually looking at it right now. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through our boat. 
Christy, myself, Robert, we're gonna go through, we're gonna show you guys before and after. This is like a HGTV <laughs> episode here. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's start with, uh, we'll start with the, we'll go outside in. You guys, this video right here is not just for boat owners, but you guys like, for all y'all boat owners out there, like it's the small stuff that make the big difference. It really is. So we've got, okay you guys, so here it is. So as you can see before and after, the whole front apparatus of the trailer is like brand new all right here's the before and after okay do it here's your money shot okay no you didn't do it come on do it again now you gotta try harder act your acting's off there you okay, go okay ready okay there you go whole front brand new apparatus of the trailer shout out to robert right here because robert put some awesome shine to our hole of the boot look at this this looks brand new look you can like see the reflection it's like you know this is like showroom quality right here so before as christy was saying we had like brown just rust on the back of it like you know i'll show you guys here on the back um we're gonna you know focus on the outside of the boat first but look at this this all looks brand new back here all brand new robert also like waxed the so he hit a coat of wax on the outside and as you can see it looks super clean and then we actually waxed our motor as well and he painted the uh prop in the whole like lower unit yeah. yes there you go Ba -ding. Ba -ding. <laughs> I, I don't really know how what to do with my arm you just have to like there you go there just like that it's got to be smooth you're trying to oh, okay before. ready okay there you go nice a new um so we put on new trailer lights yeah. and new fenders look at this Brand new. Before our uh, fender was actually rubbing up against our tire, and as you can see, that is not the case. Because before it was on away. top of the tire, and we did. We looked like a bunch of jabronis at the ramp because we'd pull our boat up out of the water, and it would just make a really loud screeching noise. Now it's not going to do that anymore. Now our trailer looks brand new. So we've got all new components on our trailer. Right on. And Robert also caulked all the whole outside of the boat so uh let me get a whole zoom in right there so that all looks brand new right there so that's the outside of the boat we ain't even gone into the inside of the boat all right let's hop into the inside of the boat all right so on the inside of the boat first of all below this console here was extremely dirty so we removed the fuel tank and we cleaned all this inside we also tightened up um our throttle and that feels brand new we put all this nerf stuff so christy can hang all of her earrings and all of her <laughs> fishing <laughs> <layers on there. laughs> yes that's actually what that's for for all of my uh, my jewelry that's right it's perfect um what else christy? oh we got some oh, new rod holders so this is perfect the other ones we had were super broken and it was actually pretty easy to replace um just had to put some new holes in for this new rod holder case yep. then in the back all of our um the hardware back here was super corroded um it was we actually had a hole right there so we filled that yep because that was a seat but we don't fish with seats because we're not lazy like that so we that was just a hole so we just filled that with the seat cover two matching seat covers um a live well that works mm -hmm. that's clean we also cleaned all this back here so yeah there's a bottle there's a water bottle but um everything looks really clean so we cleaned the whole back everything looks brand new and we've got a new uh bilge pump down here and a new live well pump all right um, up here there was a big hole from the seat so uh robert actually cut out a bigger this hole. is my favorite part of the whole boat and look what he put in here you guys nice tackle box uh recessed tackle box so why don't you give us an example of you fishing up on the platform and then being like, oh, I need soft plastics instead of this. Perfect. And then, I don't have a fishing pole. My okay. imaginary fishing pole. So this Ready? is what's going to happen. Chrissy's going to be fishing. fishing. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, I got hung up. I need to grab another jig head. But don't worry, you don't have to get off the bow to grab some more tackle. Just come down here to your recess tackle box and voila. You guys have three whole cases of tackle boxes. I think this is like Jeff's dream come true. Organization to its max right here. We also put new hinges on everything. So every uh, compartment 
uh, works correctly. Before we would actually just have to lift up the compartment and it was not even attached, it was <laughs> detached. Yeah. So we have new hinges on everything. Uh, we have that on the back, um, everything right there. So yeah, pretty much all new components here for our boat. I liked the black for the rod holders with the white, just a nice little accent Jeff really there. thought that the, you know, the black really brought out all the accents in the boat. Well, it matches the motor. Nothing else totally. matches the motor. That's right. Exactly. My interior design app. <laughs> yeah. So some of the other stuff that we did just to make the boat look brand new, that Robert did, is we 5200, we caulked um, all these oh, gaps right in you here all right y'all so there it is this is our boat as you can see uh it looks brand new in here and big shout out to our boy this guy right here. robert new friend super stoked that robert hit us up and robert and i we've been talking ever since that he hit us up so we are super stoked to have a new friend and robert we're gonna be doing some fishing together i cannot say enough awesome stuff about him because you know just a lot of you guys, we have questions, but we don't want to go to the boat dealership and we don't want to pay that price and everything. Robert is an awesome friend. And like you said, you know, he's just so willing to help out. VA Adventures YouTube channel. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. You guys make sure you check it out. Give it a watch. Also help him out, subscribe to his channel and like his videos. And you guys hit him up because, you know, he's just a super cool dude who wants to get out and meet you guys and go four wheeling and fishing. riding on the back of a four-wheeler with my wife driving it. <laughs> 